Hey guys, Vino here from Process Street, and today I got a cool video where I'm going to show you how to actually set up a WordPress blog on Bluehost in just a few minutes. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I wrote a post where I made a website launch checklist using a Process Street template that got a lot of great feedback as a checklist that you should go through before you actually launch a website and all the things that you need to check around marketing, around SEO, around technical, around testing, etc. But a few people said, hey, I don't even have a website set up, so how do I get that started? Actually, they didn't say website. They said I wanted to launch a blog because I haven't launched a blog yet, um, but we don't have one set up. So this checklist is gonna be great after we kind of set up our blog. So I thought I'd make a quick video because it seems like some people think that it's like a hard thing to set up a blog and that they need to maybe hire a web designer to do it or maybe they need to pay someone to actually do it when realistically you can actually do it in like three or four minutes and it's really really easy and simple so I thought I'd just make a video showing you how to do that now the way that you set up WordPress differs depending on which host that you use in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a WordPress really quickly using Bluehost because I really like Bluehost and I think when you're starting out it's definitely the best service to go with I still use Bluehost for, I actually have two different Bluehost accounts and I use them for a number of my personal sites and project websites. But for Process Street, we don't use Bluehost uh, because we've gotten too big for that. Uh, we use a more dedicated, much more expensive hosting for our WordPress, which is like a WordPress dedicated hosting. You can check that out in the link below. That's for our WordPress and our front end marketing and blog site. And then we actually host the app on a number of different Amazon EC2 and RDS servers, which are much, much more expensive in the hundreds of dollars a month and they're much too powerful if you just want to set up a simple company blog if you're just starting out setting up your first blog for your company or your personal blog then i highly recommend getting a shared account with bluehost it's really easy to use it's simple to set up they have great 24-hour phone support and they can really scale to a lot of traffic with that being said let's get into the video showing you how to set up a wordpress blog setting up a wordpress site with bluehost is really easy just head over to their website at www.process.st slash bluehost b-l-u-e-h-o-s-t to get our special discount and click the get started now button from there you can either purchase a domain if you don't have a domain already or you can put in a domain that you already have and use that one to get started i just put in my domain and i'm going to go next next just enter your billing information to purchase one of their posting plans Generally, the shared plan is the cheapest and it should suit 99% of companies, especially if it's your first blog. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this out and then I'll come back to you at the next screen. Okay, so here I'm at the control panel. I've created my account and I've logged in and now I'm gonna install WordPress on our domain. So first we just browse down and we hit the WordPress icon under the website builders. There's a lot of stuff that you can do in Bluehost and I definitely recommend checking out the cPanel but right now we're just going to install WordPress. So you click on the WordPress, you can also type it in the search box and that will bring it up for you as well. Once you click on WordPress, it's going to actually take you to a place called the Mojo Marketplace. And the Mojo Marketplace is a really cool marketplace that Bluehost uses that allows you to install all different kinds of apps and content management systems and forums onto your hosting. So if you do wanna play with another tool that's not WordPress, you can also do that as well. All we're gonna do is once it's loaded up the WordPress page is hit install. You can also import an existing installation if you are moving over from a different host. Next, it's gonna ask me what domain I wanna install WordPress into. So I'm just gonna pick my domain and click check domain. I'm going to quickly make a couple of changes to my site before I install it. I'm going to change the site name. And here I've just covered up my username and password. I'm going to accept the terms and conditions and I'm going to hit install now. All right, now it's just told me that my WordPress is currently being installed and I should have a look around the marketplace. They do sell some interesting themes and plugins in the marketplace, but I'm not interested in that right now. So I'm just going to let this load up and we'll check back when it's finished. Well, look, there it's finished just in a couple of seconds. I'm gonna go over and view the credentials. And here it's given me a directory that I can, it's given me the URL, it's given me the admin URL, the username and the password. 
So let me just head over to the admin. And let me log in. And there you have it. WordPress is installed. We can go and visit the site and actually take a look. And I've got my blog installed here with the first post. What we can also do now quickly is we can just go and change the theme and put in our first post. And then we can I can show you kind of what the blog will look like and how you can do a bit of basic customization with WordPress. Changing a theme in WordPress is really easy. Just head over to Appearance and go to Themes. From themes, you've probably got a few that are already installed, and you can also easily search for new themes by clicking up here to add new. I can then browse the themes. And have a look at some of these featured themes that are listed here. I can also search for themes that are in both the Mojo Marketplace and the WordPress.org free themes. And there's literally thousands of free themes that you can pick from. So right now, I'm just going to pick the 80s theme and I'm going to install it. I'm going to activate it. And there you have it. The new theme is installed. Looks pretty cool. Let's go and add a post now. To add a post, head over to Posts and click on add new. Adding posts in WordPress is really easy. First, just enter the title. WordPress also makes it really easy to add things like images and videos. Let's go ahead and add an image. Once your image is uploaded, just insert it into the post. Then, add any content such as text, and we're going to add a YouTube video into here as well. We're going to add it to a category, and tag it. And then we're going to publish it. And there we have it. We now have our first post published. It's got an image, it's got some text, and it's got our YouTube video. I'm also going to quickly just change up the site name. To do that, I'm going to come back and I'm going to go to Settings in General. I'm going to change the site title and the tagline. And I'm going to hit Save. Then I'm going to come back here to the post that we just published and refresh the page. And there we have it. We have our title, Fun With Us, and we have our first post, which is a cool new way to slice tomatoes. If you want to set up your own WordPress blog and you're interested in using Bluehost, make sure you use our link to get a special discount. You can find that again at www.process.st bluehost. Thanks again for watching, and I hope it was useful.